Uh, Goober! Hey, what's up? Whoa, that? dude! <laughs> dude! How's it going? All right. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. It's awesome to meet you guys. This is, like, super cool. Um, I actually I actually don't have a question for you. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but I have questions for you, too. Um, David Wise, uh, one of my favorite episodes in G1. I didn't do it. He did. You did do it. You did it. Okay. You did a, and you did a good job of it. One of my favorite episodes in G1 is uh, War Dawn. That's pretty much everybody's favorite. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like... Of mine. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know. Was that, uh, is there some kind of insight you can give us into your creative process behind well, that particular yeah, episode? Well, yeah, actually, or? I can because I just did this at my autograph table because a guy asked me. Okay. Um, and I had never sort of thought it through before, but he was... War Dawn... How many people here have seen War Dawn? Oh, seven. Wow. Yeah. Wardon is basically the origin story of Optimus Prime. And um, the question I had been asked at the, my table just before this panel was, was it, you know, was it hard coming up with an origin story for Optimus Prime? And here's the funny thing. It's, uh, what, what I realized when I thought about it was in the creative process of coming up with that story, Prime's origin was the last thing I came up with. It was, ne it was never gonna be, my thinking was never, oh, let's do an origin story of Optimus Prime. And my thinking was, well, my thinking was Hasbro said, we really liked the job he did with the, um, the, the aerial bots and the Stunicons on that two-parter uh, Secret of Omega Supreme. We wanna bring back the aerial bots, which made sense because they were the newest Autobots and they were part of the team. And so do another aerial bot show. That was the, my brief on that script. Cool. And um, <clears throat> I started thinking about it and I thought, well, they're, they've just been creative, they're created. They're not mature. We'll say they're like teenagers, which is kind of how they behaved in Secret of Omega Supreme. And, and, and maybe they don't quite get that the Decepticons are like evil and that the Autobots are like not evil and it is better to be not evil than to be evil. And honestly, I was also thinking a little bit of the movie Rambo, which had just come out and was huge, especially with young boys. And I was like, I hated, I was like, this guy's a friggin' fascist. That's all he is, he's just, he's just a fascist. I, I did not like it. And I didn't like the kids were idolizing a fascist. So I thought, so that some of that feeling went into the idea that the aerial bots would think, that the Decepticons are really cool because they want to do something. They just go ahead and do it. They don't wait to ask permission. They just they get stuff, to, you know. And so I thought, how are we going to teach them this lesson that, 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 that that's wrong? And I thought, what if we could time travel them back to the moment that the first shot was fired in the war between the Decepticons and the Autobots back on Cybertron during the golden age of Cybertron? And I thought, oh, that's neat. Well, okay. So then I constructed this whole elaborate story of getting them to Cybertron and 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 and, and having it be a, a Decepticon trap, and they're stuck. They they get shot through the Chronosphere into the past. And I was like, okay, now what's the first shot going to be? And then, and only then, did it occur to me. Well, what if there's they make friends with the robot? Uh, with with there aren't really Autobots yet. There's just robots, who gets killed, he, he was the recipient of the first shot of the first battle of the war between the Decepticons and the Autobots, and what if they rebuilt that guy as, what if he was like, in essence, resurrected Christ-like as, as Optimus Prime. Prime? So that was the end of the process, and then when I got to that, I went, oh shit, I'm doing Optimus Prime's origin story. I hope they, have an, they don't already have an origin story for him because I'm screwed. And then I went, ah, the heck with it. I'm just going to write it. If they don't like it, they can bite me. <laughs> and they didn't have it. Of course, this being Tasbro, who never worked things out in advance, which is why all your favorite episodes have continuity errors and things in them. Um, and uh, you were bitten. And uh, <laughs> they bit. They bit hard. Um, <laughs> but no, so, it, so, so the process was literally, I want to do a thing about these immature Autobots, and it wound up being the origin story of Optimus Prime, and you get to see the first shot fired by Megatron in the first battle of the war for Cybertron. 
So thank you for that excellent question, which I happen to have had an answer to because I just spun it out at my autograph table earlier. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. That's like very insightful, like eye-opening for me. Yeah. Wow. You, you'll get my bill. <laughs> and now you know. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> awesome.